Hello everyone and welcome to the map Oceanborn. Today we'll be taking a look at a professional match of StarCraft 2. The Zerg player spawning here into the upper left corner of the map. None other than Scarlet. And the Terran player landing into the bottom right corner, the blue command center, the SCVs belonging to Hero Marine. What such well-timed Terran music too. Hmm. Welcome everyone, as I said, to the map Oceanborn. We'll follow the SCV first, why not? What? is in store today. A highlight match, a singular map that I was told would be rather intriguing to see. Surely it's not for anything in the early game though, because things are looking dreadfully normal. Painfully standard. What is this SCV doing? Oh. Just to block the third hatchery long enough for the Reaper to get here, will the drone show up? Worker battle to the death. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Reaper breaking the rules of engagement there. The, the honor duel no longer honored here. The drone goes after the SCV. Here, a Marine trying to get out of there. The Reaper not quite pinned down by the Zerglings. <gasps> I can't make the hatchery. Didn't have enough minerals to get it slapped down before the Reaper came over here. And now, the drone is in a bit of trouble. The SCV will live with its five hit points. The two Zerglings somehow made their way across, de denying, delaying, not really denying, delaying the command center. I take it back, the early game, such chaos. What happened here? Oh, Queen stepped off creep, shutting down the Reaper's shenanigans. The third hatch will be planted. The forces should quiet down now. We have a single Zergling. Naturally, just keeping an eye on things here, cataloging the local flora, the fauna, of course. Reaper, testing the limits of both the creep's edge and the queen's patience, it seems. Really uh, having a bit of a death wish, if you ask me. Not, not too good to come between the queen and her creep tumor. It's a very personal activity, of course. Ah, Zergling was waiting for speed, and now is just gonna go somewhere else. They're all meeting up. It's time for the Zergling Book Club of the Month, of course. What have you been reading? Um, Zeke, the Zergling, because it has to be a Z, I suppose. The Hellions joining up with the Reaper behind this, really? We have a cloaked Banshee opener. Hmm. Okay. I am still intrigued. Scarlet going with the very standard Zerg opener of many drones, much hatches. Yes, thank you. It's up to the Terran now. They've got Hero Marines got that third CC up and running. Hellions again just testing the waters, just making sure everything's okay. The Zerglings get a little ambitious and pay the price. Banshee number two on the way. Yeah, Banshee number one just going to stick around for defense, though. I like the idea of getting a Banshee, even just one, as a defensive tool, pretty much regardless. I mean, if you see a Roach Warren early on, definitely you want, like, two Banshees at that point. But even if you just got one, regardless, just to feel safe, you would get no quarrel from me. Just like no quarrel for Mech. <gasps> Multiple factories on the way. Banshee Cloak is going to finish up. Interesting. Hero Marine busting out the mech versus Scarlet today. The Hellions are going to definitely pick off one queen. The rest joining forces there will repel the assault. <laughs> Hyper flight too. Banshee production continuing. It's going to be cloaked banshees with hyperflight. Deadly. 
and the new Cyclone. Upgrade, of course. Hurricane Thrusters. Okay. So, Hero Marine, at least it's looking like it's going to be going for a bit of a battle mech composition here. Focusing on speed, focusing on offensive capabilities, the Spore Crawler, Roots, just in time for the Banshees to get away. Hellions, scratching the paint, the pigment on the side of that hatchery. Keep an eye on the Banshees, I suppose. Scarlet did get an Overseer. And is going to transfuse the Queen, so they'll be doing fine. Oh, running out of energy at this point, though. Spore Crawler takes a shot at the Banshee Lings, standing by ready to deal with the Hellions if Hero Marine were to commit. Blue Flame. Rounding out the Battle Mech Love. Double Armory, four Cyclones at a time right now. Banshee production still going, still in process. Whew. Zergling's not quite able to see over those trees. Hellion's going to get quite a nice first shot off, denying most of the attack there from the Lings. Hyperflight's about to finish up, so those Banshees going to get even more annoying. You thought they were hard to chase, hard to catch before? Dare I say. Hyperflight, it's like hyperthyroidism for Banshees here. Zoom in. Okay. Hellion's picking off over here. What, what do we have here? Two SCVs died to something. I think that... No? Okay, I don't know. Hmm. Two SCVs picking off something. All we see is an overseer. <laughs> Must have been maybe just a couple of Zerglings that got in somewhere they didn't really belong. The Banshees? Not picked off yet. Still around somewhere. Joining forces with the other Banshees, of course. Now it's the ground team's turn. Hero Marine really doing a good job keeping on a bit of pressure here. Blue Flame Hellions, Cyclones, willing to work in tandem. However, Scarlet's been amping up the tech composition as well. Banelings rolling forward will connect with the front line, but the rest of the Cyclones in the back. Uh, oh, God, it's not enough Hydras. I think the Queens have to be pulled. The Queens will support, which will shoo away the Terran Force. Hero Marine trades that away. The Banshees, rightfully I think, going for the hatchery. Force a cancel, get a drone. There's an SCV here. I think they're trying to repair. I think they're trying to repair the Banshees. However, the Banshees not being the most, um, you know, polite of patience there. Cyclones get on top of the Queens and instead go after the Overseer. One queen will be picked off. Not even the overseer was picked off. Look at him. He's a survivor now. The things he's seen with his ten eyes. Ugh. Nightmares will haunt him for the rest of his days, I'm sure. More factories on the way. We're producing eight cyclones at a time. Scarlet's going up to Hive, though. What will be the Hive choice? My Zerg lovers. What would you do at this point? Is it time for lurkers? Lurker upgrades? Is it time for vipers? I think it's always time for vipers. Okay. I never turned down a viper. We'll have to see, though. Hero Marine's adding on a raven. Helpful for clearing out the creep. Bit of detection. Banshee's getting a little ambitious here. Oh, God. One. <laughs> Scarlet targeting the low health one. The Banshee's trying to skirt the edge of that now. Taking a bit of damage as we've seen. Mm. Cyclones. Looks like they will try and pick off that. Banshee's now going for the extractor, specifically. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, you're kind of just going for whatever you want to get. It's Viper time. High sec auto tracking. Oh gosh, he didn't even get the infantry upgrades first. Gold Terrans everywhere are vindicated. Sea Indigos, Hero Marine got high sec auto tracking before the infantry upgrades. Yes, that's because Hero Marine doesn't have any infantry. You sassy Gold Terran. 
Scarlet amassing the forces. Lingbane Hydra. The Vipers, I don't think, are here to support, though. No, they're too busy drinking. Scarlet says, I will do what I can with what I've got here. 10 SCVs falling instantly. Lings will get into the midst of the natural, the siege tank. Splash damage looking good at the cost of the friendly fire. The Bane's rolling in the midst of the Cyclone, dealing a lot less damage than I expected it to, actually. The Lings, they're doing great against the SCVs. I don't think they're going to be able to compete with the army. They are everywhere, though, all over the base, all over every base here in peril. Command Center will be canceled. The Cyclones will repel the army. If Scarlet just commits, I think she's got it. Ugh. The Cyclones clean up the rest of the forces, the Lings in the main, and the natural dealt with losses extensive, though. 39 SCVs? Yeah. 39 SCVs picked off. Cyclone found in the middle of the map. The Banshees were lost, too. There's only one still on the map. Hmm. I mean, Hero Marine, of course, you know, having five command centers, six command centers, can replace the SCV. Sure, it can be done. Who wins this? That's a lot of Hydras. I, I don't actually know. It looks like the Zerg is going to take it, but not by a landslide. That was a lot closer than I expected it to be. Hydras versus Cyclones. Okay, I guess it works. You're both kind of just tearing into each other at that point. We have a Greater Spire. Vipers drinking. Isn't that what we just saw you two doing? What'd you do in between here? I, saw, I think I saw one blinding cloud somewhere. Got Adrenal plus three on the way. Are there even any Corruptors? No. It's Changelings. Which is kind of a funny thing to see in the, uh... Yeah, here a Marine says, Hey, I don't have any Marines. Where did those come from? They must be Zerk. Imposters, I say. Space them. Out the airlock with them. The Lings. The Lings just evaporating here. The Lings need to be used for backstabs. I agree with this. Bit of harassment. Hmm? <laughs> oh, they will be found. Far too many for the Lings to commit now. The CC looks like it's going to land. Hydra Viper. Oh, God. <laughs> Bye, Seed Stink. <laughs> Corruptors on the way now. Likely to be turned into Broodlords. There's a few Vikings here. There's two. There's a pair of Vikings. On the second day of Christmas, I suppose. I guess to deal with the Vipers, just to put some pressure on the Vipers. Although the amount of Hydralisks, like, if the, if the Vikings get it all close to this, it's not going to be good for them. The Cyclone's looking to commit, uh, trying to kite back and forth, even the SCV's out for blood. <laughs> Six SCV's falling, those were battle SCV's though, they were trained for that, they were prepared to die for their cause. Twelve Cyclones at a time being made here. The Vipers, scary enough. The CC on fire, will it be repaired in time? Should be. Not looking like any... Nope, really? Really? Okay, fine. Alright. Ooh, abducts abound, a single blinding cloud on the high ground, and a very unfortunate siege tank. The Siege Tank's on the low ground, putting in some heavy lifting, though. Cyclones on the right, not going to be too successful. The left, they keep just trying to drag them into the Siege Tanks. Scarlet not really taking the bait, though. Oh, gonna lose this. Yeah, the Siege Tank's inching forward. The hatchery will be cancelled here. Army just not able to maneuver around enough. There's no creep. Scarlet's creep spread has been very well denied. Holy Spine Crawler. It works. The not-so-static defense should be fine there. Do we have any broods yet? We do have some broods. They have been morphed in. Cyclones, get ready to rue the day. 
that you ever set foot on the creep. The ducks abound. I love it. Hydra Broodlord here. A single queen. Not as immune to tank shots as they'd like to be. The Broodlords will force the tanks back, and that's going to be a very serious win at this point in time. However, Hero Marine knows what the good units are, of course. They are armored. Their name rhymes with Bathor, of course. For the moment, though, the Broodlords do have a bit of superiority. They could try and whittle off some of the Terran forces. Hero Marine rightly gonna try and just circumvent them, force the Broods to be somewhere they aren't. Taking out the Corruptors, too. That's always nice. The Broods finally catch up. We'll get this very unfortunate Siege Tank here. The spine crawler wall being tested by the Cyclones. The Vikings here? Yeah, the Vikings could start to tickle some of the Broods. There's enough Corruptors, though, that they will, uh, hmm, you know, meet their Viking demise. Glorious battle and whatnot. The first of the Thors have been fielded. Yes. Not felled, because felled is something different. First of the Thor is here. There we go, that's much better. More broods. Neural on the way. I don't even think I've seen any infestors, but I would agree with it. The best Thor is a Zerg Thor, after all. Even Zergs know the best units of Thor. What's the answer to Thor's? Neural. You're like, but that doesn't kill them. No, but it sure does help. <laughs> broods? Yeah, I don't know. The Vikings on the left. Hydras will be able to support if the Vikings get close enough, but I think this might just be a bit too much here. What do we have going on? A single siege... Nope, two siege tanks. Oh dear, three siege tanks. Ah, ah, ah. Hydras. You know, siege tanks are really good against Hydras. Even though the Hydras aren't armored, still really nice. Really solid, actually. Where'd the broods go? Both forces posturing. Viking Thor. The Thor's range, the Viking's range will help to keep the broods in check. Hero Marine. Hmm, 11 drones dying off. 14 drones dying off. What are we dying drones to? Barbecue time. Uh oh. The Hellion run by going to be very successful. Knocking Scarlet under 70 drones. Six infestors on the way. They shift into Hellbats because we all know broodlings evaporate rather quickly at that point. The Thors. Looks like the forces split up here. The Thors retreating home. And Hero Marine's just going to condemn the rest of these forces. Surely Scarlet has to recognize this, right? Like Hero Marine just let you clear that. Yeah. That goes about as expected. The Hellbats still reigning terror. 26 drones have died off. It's looking like Hero Marine was letting that force get cleared to replace it with, what did you say? Oh, more Thor. Yes, of course. Nine Thors, three more, just about to finish up. A lot of Hellions, too, though. Definitely making a lot of Hellbats. So we're going with Hellbat Thor. Let's see, Siege Tanks? Not really, not at this point in time. <clears throat> more Factories. Oh, and a Fusion Core on the way. Okay. Some SCVs going to be picked off as they retreat. Because they tried to mine too early. Look, they're trying to mine too early. The overachievers. The Bane's going to finish morphing in right on top of the Hellions. Blue Flame only get them so far, it seems. The Hydras will absolutely decimate that force. They could go for the Command Center. They should get it burning. Will they destroy it? Oh yeah, they got it. Got plus three Hydras. It's a lot of damage output. Glass cannons, they are. Unfortunately, the Thor deals a lot of damage too and is much more durable. So the Thors will shoo the Hydras away. So get off my semi-creep covered front lawn. 
Thank you. Fusion Core finishes up for Advanced Ballistics. Of course, give a bit of freedom abound here. Thor Liberator. It's a scary composition. Infestors already burrowed. They have Neural, of course. We've already established that. Now we're just waiting, really, for the engagement, it seems. It's the Thor count of 15 Thors. God. Okay. Liberators will help to support a bit against the ground forces. Yeah. You know, all of these ground forces that are here. Yeah, look under the Broodlords. All of those ground forces. Those Liberators going to get a lot done. 19 SCVs fell. Some more Cyclones being produced. The Hero Marine is just kind of rounding everything out. Deciding to stay on a lower SCV count? I can agree with the choice. Actually, at this point, now it's going to come down really to one final battle. We're going to have one big battle, and the victor is likely to just kind of outright win the game. Will it be the 20 Brood Lords or the 15 Thors? And if those numbers don't shock you, I don't know how else to wake you up today. The Thors stepping up onto the high ground here. We are definitely going to have to zoom out for whatever happens here. The Liberator set up shop a decent fungal growth onto them. will make them at least regret having three coffees instead of two today. We have a single Zergling who is protesting the presence of the Fusion Core. Very nice. The Thors, the Liberators stepping onto the creep. Confident they are the Broods. Look like they're going to slightly commit, send out some broodlings. There's no hellbats here. There's no, there's no hellbats anywhere. Okay. Just doing the best we can with the Thor Liberator at this point. The brood's committing. I'm not sure this is actually a really good fight, though. The Thor is occupying a space that they can't really get surrounded by the broodlings. The corruptors will clear the Liberators. But it's nowhere near enough broodling broodlords. The cyclones on the right will come in and give a bit of reinforcement. The thors, they're still here. It's nine thors to nine broods. And there were more broods morphed in during that. There's thors over here. The thor run by. Not the unit you usually see chosen for such a job here. The broods caught out by the cyclones. Some more thors. Look, they're splitting up. Okay going to be pincered here dealing with the Thor run by the rest in hot pursuit against the broods and that is just how it ends Scarlet not able to replace enough of the broods not able to get the answer needed to deal with the remaining 10 Thor six more in production it was about to get even uglier hero marine takes the match a match of tenacity a test of strength and fortitude or should I say, fortitude. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.